Here we're given the transfer function as a function of z. Normally this is called h of z. So that's our transfer function, and we're asked for the impulse response. That's h of n. And that's simply the inverse trans z transform of h of z. So one way to do that is to simply apply the definition of the z transform, but backwards. So remember, h of z is simply the summation from n equals 0 to infinity x of n times z to the power minus n. And in this case, it's given to us here. So what we want is h of n. So what we should be looking at is these coefficients. So we have a 1 here, a 2 here, a 3 here, and a 4 here. So the 1 happens when n equals 1. The 2 happens when n equals 2. The 3 happens when n equals 3. The 4 happens when n equals 4. So we can now write h of n, and it's simply a 0 when n equals 0, a 1 when n equals 1, a 2, a 3, followed by a 4, and then a load of zeros. So that's my, um, uh, that's my impulse response. What I now need to do is to sketch that because the question is asking for a plot. So all I need to do is take these four numbers and plot them. So we start with zero. So we have a, a big zero at zero, n equals zero. And then we have obviously zeros for negative n as well. We have a zero at n equals one. We have a zero sorry, a, a 1 at n equals 1, a 2 at n equals 2, a 3 at n equals 3, a 4 at n equals 4, and then a load of zeros. So let me add stalks to these. And then we can just add zeros here. So that's n equals minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that, that's my sketch. If I wanted to, I could um, express this as uh, discrete ramp functions. That's, that's also possible. The question doesn't ask for that, but we could, if we wanted to, say that's a ramp function starting at n equals 0, minus a ramp function at n equals 5, minus um, a step function at n equals 5. OK, so if you like that, that's unnecessary, but that's also true for this, um, for this uh, discrete time system. So we started with the transfer function. We used the definition backwards to find the impulse response. And then we made a discrete time sketch of the impulse response. And that helped us to write it out in um, closed form using uh, elementary functions, discrete ramp, and discrete step functions. So that's our final answer. Well, that's more than our final answer.